Okay, so today we are on day nine of the daily blog for the month of April. And today I decided I was going to do uh, writing, specifically how to deal with the word processor. So I'm going to show you uh, little tips. Um, we can call this Tuesday tips. You know, so you could personalize your word processor and navigate, you know, your documents uh, faster and easier with these little tips. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so this is the um, 2003 version. You can always find out what version your program is if you go under help and then about. And this will tell you what version this is. This is a 2003 professional edition. And you kind of need to know this if you ever get tech support for your programs and stuff. Um, Today we're going to be talking about tool toolbars for formatting specifically. Now, you can personalize all your toolbars. You can go under View and Toolbars, and these are all the toolbars that are available. And you can see which ones are, I've clicked on which ones I haven't. You can turn them on and off as you want. Uh, but say I want to do Forms, um, a lot of times they show up as a floating toolbar, and you just drag it up here or to the sides. Or do it below and they can show up that way um, but what I wanted to show today is how to personalize this toolbar itself now I use a lot of different formatting because it's not just um, writing that I do I do you know handouts and things like that so what I do is um, I usually first go through add remove buttons uh, and you see all the different kinds here. So a lot of times, like, I'll go through, like, eh, I, I don't use this one, I don't use this one, and you can click them on and off as you see fit. Um, but today, I want to show you the customization. One of the things that I like with um, formatting, you, you can create even your own toolbars from scratch as well. But what I wanted to add here, see, say, for instance, I wanted a word count, you simply grab that and drag it up to your toolbar. And then while this window is open, because it, it doesn't show up, if I were to click this out, it will disappear. But you have to have this open when you're doing this. You may right click on the button that you've just dragged here. Now I can decide, do I want it text? Do I just want an image? Um, image and text, default style, change button image. Say we want to do, let me just use that. See, now I have that. And then I can even change the name of it if I wanted to, but I, I don't want to do that. I just want to leave it as that for now. And I also wanted to add, oh, go into format. This is where you get a lot of the formatting. Um, I use a lot of times the uh, double strike through um, because I do lists and I like to check things off by doing a double strike through. And I also wanted to add columns. So you can see there's all kinds of things you can add and delete and change. You can even change different fault. You can you can literally add and remove the you know say for instance I I don't want to use the normal I can change that. Um, word underline all caps. Sorry, got strike through align justified. Ah, columns. I want to add that too. So we're gonna put that here. Okay. Um. So I have close, and the next time I open it up, it will all be available. Now I'm not gonna put the word count here. Now you see here, like when I right click on it, now I can't delete it. I have to go back, and remove and customize. Now when I right click on it, now the delete shows up. That's how you can delete it. I already have my word count down here, so I'm going to click, add remove, customize. Now I can right click on it, image and text. It doesn't have an image, so I'm going to change the button image to club. Okay, so now it's a little bit more easier to see. Um, so that is my tip for word processing. If you like this, please like the video, share it, uh, and you know, um, 
in comments go ahead and ask me questions and I will cover things later you know so every Tuesday I'm gonna have something with a writing tip for word processing as always thanks for watching